Hello, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Reed, and welcome to It's My Honor. Today, it's my honor to introduce you to Jason Whitback. Jason is a Navy SEAL who's transitioning in October 2019. And welcome, Jason. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Now, always happy to be here interviewing transitioning Navy SEAL. So we're going to begin by asking you to share with us some highlights of your career. Can you do that? Definitely. So I'm a SEAL qualification training instructor, and I was hand-selected to design, develop, and instruct a new curriculum to over 1,200 SEAL qualification training students. And as a result, we were able to enhance the performance and streamline the, the practice of, of the training. And, and what it did was we, we took out some of the more unnecessary components and were able to focus on all the more critical aspects of the training and that gave the, the students more knowledge, more repetition, and more practice overall. So if I understand you correctly, by taking out the less critical components and focusing on the critical components, this enabled them to practice more. And as a result of practicing more on the critical skills, their performance en enhanced just due to being able to have more repetitions available to them. Would that be yeah. correct? Yep. Well, that makes sense to me. Okay. so. You've had this experience in training. How do you see that th that skill set transfer to the civilian workforce? Well, the skill sets are completely transferable, and curricular de design components are, are transferable to any organization. And any organization that requires in-house training, the skill set has applications towards leadership and technical training. I see. Okay, so. When you get ready to look for a job in the civilian sector, what kind of culture is important to you? Well, culture is extremely important. And I'm looking for a culture where people are motivated and driven towards success. I want to be in an environment where the, the leaders are willing to share and mentor others and encourage a learning environment. I see. So I noticed when I was looking at your background that you you got to do a couple of internships in the financial services markets and um, while you're on active duty, in fact. So what about that culture appeal to you? Well, I've been looking specifically in the venture capital and private equity space, and, and that's because they, they encompass that exact culture I'm looking for, the, the highly driven and high caliber individuals that are willing to mentor their interns and they want their interns to succeed as well. Oh, that's great. That's great. So as we wrap up this interview, I'm going to ask you about your commanding officer. Okay. If I were to sit down and have lunch with your commanding officer and say, gee, share with me what you think Jason's greatest strengths are, what would he or she tell me? Well, he would probably tell you that I have the unique ability to demonstrate executive presence and what that means is that I have the gravitas that reflects that I know my subject matter is six levels deep. And when I talk to a group of people, I have the ability to connect with the audience and they tend to pay close attention to what I'm saying. I have also the ability to stay calm under pressure and he would probably also tell you that I make calculated and good decisions. Well, that's great. And I wanna take this time now to say thank you for spending this time with me and once again, it's been my honor to introduce Jason Whitbeck, Navy SEAL. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Creed.